I had this headlamp that I bought. The only issue is it runs on triple A's. It's going to end up costing a lot in the long run. And just be annoying because I'll have to carry extra batteries with me. My solution is to replace those batteries with an 18650 battery. So I have this 18650 battery out of a laptop, old laptop battery. The laptop battery was no good, I tore it apart and there was still some good cells in there. Some of the cells were completely garbage, but some of the cells are still working just fine. I also had this little board. I got this off uh, eBay, but uh, you can get them out of a bunch of little chargers and stuff, but it was only a couple dollars I believe for like 10 of these off eBay, so if you're willing to wait you can get a bunch of those. So all we have to do basically, if you can see, there's a bunch of uh, terminals here. There's out, that's what will be going to the light. There's B, which is for battery, that's what will connect directly to the battery. And this board actually was connected before, so there's already solder on those points. Then there's two points up here for the USB, but the USB is also already attached to this board, so you can just plug directly in there. So the B plus has to go to the positive on our battery, which on these cells is marked by the little band here. It's the smaller end, it's the positive end. The negative goes to the flat end. Then for out, our positive will have to go to where the positive of the AAA battery, these are will all be in series. So you put the positive end where uh, your out positive is and your out negative goes to your negative end, that's all. So I'm just going to uh, get these batteries out now and see what we can see for the terminals in here. So on this there's four little screws here that look to be just holding in this battery pack here. I'm hoping that's just the little battery pack uh, insert there. So I'm just going to take those out and see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so I took out those four screws, and it's not just a battery pack, it's actually the whole board on this one little piece here. But you can see now it's clearly labeled here as well, actually, the points. So there's a battery positive up in this corner and a battery negative down in that corner. If you want to get really deep into it, you can remove the old terminals from the batteries and stuff and, and desolder those from the boards. But I think my plan is to actually just solder wires onto the side here. The little pads on the inside are probably points to solder to, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to go directly to those on the outside. So I'll just have to solder on a wire and make sure it's not going to get in the way when I put it back inside and have those wires run back out through the back here. We'll worry about the waterproofing and that after. So I got my soldering iron heating up right now. I cut two lengths of wire. The reason they're so long is the idea is for them to wrap around to the back of my head and I'm going to hang the battery on the back of my head just to give it a little bit of a balance. By the way, the 18650 battery uh, was 45 grams when I measured it. These guys are 12 each, so that's 36. So it's only a little tiny bit heavier. And well, this guy was less than 2 grams, so it's only a little tiny bit heavier than the actual uh, AAAs there. And we're going to take all the weight, most of the weight from the front of your head and move it to the back of your head. Alright, so the black wire is connected onto here, the battery negative. Okay, so I got the red side hooked down there. So they've been cleaned with flux, they're attached. Now we just have to solder them on. Now if you're looking for uh, information on how to solder, this is not a video on how to solder. It's a pretty easy process if you want to look up a video, but my tools are uh, a bit older, a bit dirtier, not the best, so I'm not teaching anybody how the proper way of soldering. But basically you just clean up your joint, you want a clean tip, not like mine, put a little bit of solder on your tip just so the heat will transfer better, 
and the idea when you're soldering is you want to heat up the metal that you want the solder to stick to and then put the solder onto that metal. You're not directly heating the solder with your iron, you're heating the object and then putting solder onto that object. can be a little bit tricky when you're when you have uh, plastic pieces like this. You don't want to stay there too long. This will easily melt that plastic. But so yeah, Just put her on there and let the solder stick in there. And like I said, I'm far from an expert. You do a lot better than this. By rights, I should have cleaned these uh, tabs before I put the wire on as well just so they would hold the solder a little bit better. Okay, so that's the super crude soldering job. Like I said, if you're looking to learn how to solder, there's lots of videos online. These will go directly onto the uh, charge board here. But first of all, I'm just going to put this back together. I think we have our solder in the way a little. Yeah, this solder here is in the way a little, so I'm just going Try to melt that down a little. You're putting these screws in to you want to make sure they're in tight enough because you're going to keep the water out of your uh, device. But also just keep in mind that it is only plastic. They're only tiny screws so you can very easily strip. Now we have our little device with two wires coming out the back. The back potentially still closed. I believe what I'm going to do is just drill a small little hole in the back here, run the wires there through, and then just a little bit of hot glue or something like that to seal over the hole, and then this end should still be perfectly waterproof. For now though, I'm just going to leave it open. I'm just going to twist them a little bit. So they're going to run along the back like that when she stretches out. It'll get out. So now the next step is to attach two of these to the out terminals on this. So the red is going to go on to here, the black is going to go on to here. The process of putting wires directly onto pads here, you clean the wires, you clean the pads, you put some solder on the pad first of all, then you sink your wire into that. So as you can see it's pretty easy here. Heat the pad a little, a little solder on, and simple as that. You want to make sure you don't connect any pads or anything that aren't supposed to be connected obviously. So our black wire will simply sink into that one. Sink into that one. Our red wire is on our out positive, black wire is on our out negative no connections between those two pads there. Next thing we're going to be connecting onto the battery. Uh, there's a couple ways of going about this. You can get yourself one of these holders. You can see I've already rigged it up to another charge board. Uh, you can get yourself one of these battery holders that will have the wires already attached on. You can switch out your batteries then if you want and you could solder those directly on. My issue with this though is that that's just adding extra weight, extra bulk that I don't need. My plan for this guy, which is probably not recommended, not the safest thing to do, but as long as you're quick it's not so bad. I'm going to solder directly onto the ends of these batteries. The reason you don't want to do that, you don't want to heat up one of these batteries too much because it can potentially explode and you get your face down to that soldering, heating it up too much and it blows up in your face. You can imagine it's not going to be too nice but you do it quick enough and you should be fine but again this is at your own risk. They are pretty safe for the most part. You don't want to heat it up too much and by too much I mean hundreds of degrees like in the sun it's, it should be fine. Uh, you don't want to overcharge it which is why you're going to need one of these ba uh, boards for sure. You don't want to just try and charge directly onto the ends of it. You overcharge it it's going to blow up again. You also don't want to puncture it which for me isn't going to be a big issue. Sure, the battery is on the back of my head, but if I fall down hard enough to puncture this battery on my head, I've got some other issues going on first, so 
Yeah, you don't want to puncture it, you don't want to overheat it, you don't want to overcharge it. The board will uh, solve over and under charging. The temperature can be an issue, but running those lights, we shouldn't run anything. As long as we don't short circuit, it shouldn't uh, overheat. And like I said, puncturing is just something that we shouldn't have to worry about anyway. Next step for me is to solder onto the ends of this. What I like to do is just stand them up in the middle here. It's going to take quite a bit of heat. You want a higher powered soldering iron. Alright, so now I have solder on both ends of this guy. My plan is basically to have that attached along there so I don't need much wire at all. Just get two little lengths of wire. I'm going to strip one end just enough to get onto the end of the battery. A little bit of extra solder. And we just sink that in there. Even when it's hard enough, it can come off pretty easy, but I'm going to use some electric tape and that should hold it in place. Yeah, again, poor soldering, but it does the job. It's, it's certainly good enough. So now we have wires on both ends of the battery. Wires on our light going into the charge board. So first of all, I'm going to say I want my black wire. I want it about there. I'm going to take it and cut off the extra. I'm going to strip just a tiny bit. And I just pulled it off. If you want to avoid doing what I just did there, rather than holding the battery and trying to hold the wire in your hands as you strip it, grab a pair of pliers and hold the wire directly, lay the battery down, hold the wire directly on the table and strip and you won't pull too hard. Also you can just go ahead and put the tape on first. Negative black wire has to go into the negative terminal and keep in mind as well as you're doing this with your positive wire. It, it's not too bad with your grounded wire but as you're doing this your battery has charge in it most likely. If it doesn't it's useless. So there's charge in this battery. If you short circuit this battery it's going to start heating up. If you touch the wrong spots it's going to create sparks. Like You want to be careful with your positive wire. There's the black wire connected. As I was saying before, if you want it to stay on here I'm just going to grab it with these guys. And there we go. Definitely don't want that red one to touch that black one there. Oh, you see, a little spark there. And that's it. So now, when we turn on our light, it works again. It works just fine. And I can plug this into my battery bank, charge it right back up. And I never need to worry about carrying old-fashioned batteries with me anymore. I'm just going to put one wrap around and over the entire board. It's going to go lengthways to hold the wires. One more thing I had to do is to attach it back here. Well, my plan is to use a Velcro strap. So to attach this onto the back here, I'm going to use a little bit of this Velcro strap that I have. So I'm just going to tape around to hold that in place, and then I can just Velcro that on. We'll see how that holds. So now this can come here. And we can just strap it on. So for testing purposes, this is about all I'm going to do for now. I want to actually go up and test it and make sure. By rights, to do it the cleanest way, like I was saying earlier, drill the hole and put those wires out through and close it up. If I'm going to do it at this point, I'm going to have to cut the wires again. Either that or take it back apart and do it. The only other option is to just carve a little bit 
out of the side, which is what I will likely end up doing. Just a little divot here so I can get it closed up again. And again, I'll seal it up. For waterproofing, I want to seal up the hole here. And I'm also going to have to do something with this here. There is a bunch of different ways of waterproofing electronics. Uh, you're better off looking up a video if you want to do it right proper. The tape that I have here should work pretty good. Water is definitely going to seep in around here though. Uh, ways to help that nail polish. Quickest and easiest way. A lot of people either have some themselves or know somebody who has some. So Just get up a little bit of clear nail polish, anything like that. Some Any old epoxy, anything that's not going to conduct electricity you can put on here, harden up, and even some hot glue. The problem with hot glue is it comes off real easy and it's also going to add weight. But yeah, other than that, now I have a headlamp that I can recharge. I don't have to buy new batteries. 